Feeling great. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Very excited to be here. And like I've told you before, uh, uh, my boy Kendrick Perry, we went to college together at Youngstown State. So he told me a lot of great things about Olympia, and I'm excited to be here. Is this your biggest challenge in Europe so far? Uh, yes, this is. Uh, my second year was last year. Uh, obviously, I played VTB, but this is a big step for me, and I'm excited to be here, and I'm ready to show that I belong here. What's your biggest strength? Uh, I think my biggest strength is that I can score the ball at a you know a pretty high level, but I can also create for my team and others, and you guys will see that this year. Usually when Americans come here to Ljubljana, to Slovenia, they don't know a lot about Slovenia or Slovenian basketball. Is this year a little bit different, you know, because of the, our national team on the, in the Olympics? Yeah, uh, yeah definitely uh, when I had signed here and then seeing that Slovenia was playing in the Olympics, I definitely tried to catch a game or two, especially because uh, Luka plays in Dallas and I'm from Texas, San Antonio uh, specifically. And so just watching Slovenia and knew that I had, was going to be playing with some national guys and so I just wanted to watch them and, and get used to them and see how they play knowing that I was coming here. What did uh, Perry tell you about Olympia and uh, the city? Uh, he said it was very nice. Uh, obviously through COVID uh, last year he couldn't really do much but he just said that uh, Olympia and the team would definitely take care of me and it was a great organization and that's what really mattered to me and he basically said uh, it was like family oriented out here and, you know being away from your family that's that's big to have overseas and the Slovenian players on the team have you had a chance to talk to them about uh, everything here uh, I talked to uh, Ojo a little bit about uh, certain, uh, you know, things to do or, you know, things to see. But, uh, you know, during training camp, I've just been playing a lot of basketball and doing a lot of sleeping. <laughs> Have you been along with your new teammates now since you've been here? And, uh, oh, it's been great. It's been great so far. Uh, we have great chemistry uh, throughout the weight room and on the court. Uh, you know, we all know we're here for one reason, and that's to play hard and compete and, you know, try to win as much games as possible. Uh, the coach, has he decided some special uh, special things you have to do on, uh, on your role in the team for the next season? Uh, yeah, I mean, he just definitely, uh, you know, wants me to be myself, but uh, also wants me to run the team and, and make sure I get others involved and also play my game. He is, he's got a lot of sets and stuff for me to go downhill to use my speed to my advantage. And uh, I think me and him have a great relationship so far, and it's going to keep going. Hey, Nito. Nito. Seriously. <laughs> How good do you, do you know the, the competition in Abel League and, and Eurocup this year? Uh, I definitely, because you know, through Instagram, I've seen in social media, I've seen a lot of uh, signings and a lot of different things going on in Euro Cup, and then obviously with the stuff going on with Partizan and uh, the Euro League team in this league, I see that the Abba League is uh, very competitive. But definitely, you know, seeing the Euro Cup stuff, it was it's very exciting to see the players that uh, are playing Euro Cup, and I'm just excited to compete because I know I can. What kind of experience was the VTB League when you played against your league teams also? Uh, it was a great experience and um, I played very well against a majority of the Euro League teams and the Euro Cup teams in the VTB. Uh, you know, I'm very confident in my game and my ability and, you know, it's just all about getting to where, you, where I'm at now and just continue to play the way I know how to play and stay confident.